Descubre tu futuro. Descubre un nuevo tú. Descubre Lord's University. Este segmento es patrocinado por MVW Dynamic Advancements, your source for fundraising consulting, grant writing, and bilingual services. Hola amigos, bienvenidos a Voces Latinas TV Show, aquí con el segmento Entérate, patrocinado por MVW Dynamic Advancements y su servidora, Milva Valenzuela Wagner. Hoy tenemos una invitada muy importante para la ciudad de Toledo, la señora Cindy Kerr de Connect Toledo, que nos va a hablar más acerca de esa organización. Bienvenida, welcome Cindy. Thank you, I'm glad to be here today. Great. Uh, and you are with Connect Toledo, but before we talk about that, tell us a little bit about yourself. Sure. So I have been with the organization since 2014, but I've really been here in Toledo. I was not born here, but I was raised here. So I've had careers in finance at Toledo Hospital, the Medical College of Ohio, worked for Whirlpool Corporation for a while, too. My nice. husband's from here. Mm -hmm. um, we are uh, proud Toledoans. We love our community, so we love, love to get involved. Great. Amigos, Cindy se crió aquí en Toledo y considera que esta es su hogar, su casa. Así es que ella y su esposo han estado aquí en la comunidad con nosotros por mucho tiempo y ha desarrollado su carrera profesional aquí mismo en Toledo. And tell us about Connect Toledo. What is it? Connect Toledo is an organization that is strictly focused on downtown Toledo and the surrounding neighborhoods. We are a development corporation, so we have a long-term view for for downtown and how to develop it. Amigos, uh, Connect Toledo es una organización sin fines de lucro, es una corporación para el desarrollo de downtown y las áreas adyacentes. That's a great organization. We truly need the development of downtown and I know there's been a lot of progress made in that area. Um, what are some of the programs that your organization uh, supports or sponsors or, or coordinates? Well, in 2016, we worked on the Downtown Toledo Master Plan, and we had a lot of public input into that. That is still our guiding document, and we're starting to accomplish a lot of things on that document to the point we're almost done with it. Um, Wonderful. So. Wow. So, Connect Toledo ha desarrollado un plan uh, para uh, Downtown Toledo. Es la única organización que se encarga de eso. So, what's included in the plan? Sure. The first thing was focus on the river, that we have this great resource in the Maumee River running mm -hmm. right through downtown, and we consider downtown both sides of the river, too. Okay. Um, so we have begun work with the Metro Parks on developing a five-mile river walk around the river. Uh, it's going to be a $200 million dollar investment. It'll wow. take us about eight years to build, but we're actively that work, and we're, we're starting parts of it now. Nice. Uno de los proyectos en que Connect Toledo está trabajando es en el uh, desarrollo y mantenimiento del río. Ellos están ahora mismo desarrollando un área para que la gente pueda caminar alrededor del río. So that's a huge investment. How is that funded? Huge. That's, gonna, that's partially funded through federal dollars. So we won a $25 million dollar award from the federal government. Wow. Um, the taxpayers in Lucas County voted to support the Metro Parks through a levy. Mm -hmm. And there's a lot of private fundraising going on too. Mm -hmm. Wonderful. So, este proyecto que va a costar millones eh, va a estar uh, financiado por el gobierno federal y también por uh, los individuos que pagan taxes aquí en esta área. Y es una coordinación también con el Metro Parks de Toledo y también por fondos privados. Es un, un proyecto que es muy importante y, y va a hacer que Toledo se vea mucho más bonito y que la gente pueda tener un espacio para caminar. That is wonderful. What other projects is Connect Toledo involved in? We, we've been working with the city on the redesign of Summit Street, mm -hmm. and so that project is nearly complete, so it's being built. It's, you're starting to see new furniture out there, new trees. Um, we've added more on-street parking, so the ability for people to park right on the street by the businesses. Mm -hmm. uh, that project will wrap up here in a couple of weeks, mm -hmm. and it's traffic is starting full on there and it looks fantastic. Wonderful. It's so exciting. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So, también ellos están encargados del proyecto de Summit Street 
y uh, están haciendo muchas mejoras uh, en esa área también. And I know there's some events that you are involved with that uh, even include people from other countries coming to Toledo. That's right. We've got two big events, our yeah. two big signature events that are mm -hmm. coming back. Or one is coming back this year is Toledo Jeep Fest. So that's August 7th. That's a Saturday. That's the big day. Um, thousand Jeeps in the parade or maybe a little bit more than that. The streets of downtown will be filled with Jeeps only. Yeah. Um, lots of Jeep related vendors, people wearing Jeep gear. So you hear me wearing, using that word Jeep, that's what you're gonna see all day long. So mm -hmm. that's, it returns this year. So we're excited to have it back on again on August 7th. Yeah, yeah, I know my family is very much looking forward to that. We have some friends coming from out of town. So it's, it's really a very nice and unique event here for Toledo and it's very exciting. Very fun. Amigos, Connect Toledo también está encargado de el Jeep Fest, que es el 7 de agosto. No se lo pierdan, tenemos más información que compartir con ustedes en la pantalla para que puedan venir de todas partes. Vienen personas para participar en Jeep Fest. Es un evento muy único y solamente sucede aquí en Toledo. So if you can't make it on August 7th, August 8th, while we don't have the parade, we still have all the vendors. Seagate Convention Center will have a lot of displays, and we have a four-mile run that day, too. So if you're mm. a runner, come on I out. Um, I'm not a I'm runner, but I will come out and cheer them on. I could be, but um, <laughs> um, the older I get, the less I run. So. I'm with you. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. So, amigos, el evento continúa en el uh, 8 de agosto con una carrera de cuatro millas y también uh, van a haber muchas um, um, compañías que van a estar exhibiendo y vendiendo sus productos en el Seagate Center. Wonderful, and there's still another event that is, if not as large, larger. It's, it's going to be larger, so we mm -hmm. have events returning, but the mm -hmm. largest event that we're going to have in downtown, probably in a couple of decades, is the celebration of Solheim Cup. So mm -hmm. Solheim Cup is the ladies golf version where they compete every two years against a European team. So the United States um, competing against the Europeans. Um, the golf tournament's going to be at Inverness, but all the nighttime excitement is going to be held here in downtown. Oh, wonderful. And when is that again? That the big concert is going to be September 3rd. Okay. And the golf tournament's going to really be on Labor Day weekend, with Labor Day being the final. Debemos estar muy orgullosos, amigos, porque el 3 de septiembre va a haber un concierto en downtown, que es uh, coordinado por Connect Toledo. Y el weekend, the Labor Day weekend, es el campeonato. Uh, y van a venir personas de todas partes del mundo, particularmente van a venir personas de Europa a competir con um, el equipos aquí de golf en Toledo de mujeres. So, so that's we expect 150,000 visitors for, wow. that, for that weekend. Wow. So that's a huge economic impact for Toledo. Um, so definitely get, get your tickets yeah. at solheimcup.com yeah. or you can promenadeparkconcerts.com is where you can get your tickets for Gwen Stefani. Mm -hmm. So Gwen Stefani is going to be el que va a venir a dar el concierto y pueden obtener tickets. Aquí tenemos la información en la pantalla para que no se lo pierdan. Uh, is there any other projects that are going on right now? Well, you know, but we've got the Mud Hens playing right now. Yeah. Um, Friday night concerts have returned, so, you know, get your tickets for Friday night. There's a lot of fun music events coming up uh, this year. Latino Fest returns too. Oh, wonderful. Um, Momentum, which mm -hmm. is sponsored by the Arts Commission, returns also. So. Mm -hmm. Uh, but we've got a full slate of activities coming back and it's exciting to see. Great. So, amigos, no se pierdan uh, los, el Mud Hens, también los conciertos de Promedica que van a ser en downtown. Latino Fest regresa, así es que vamos a ver si podemos uh, tener apoyo de la comunidad para que puedan venir a disfrutar este evento. So, when's Latino Fest? It's yeah. going to be in September, the third Saturday in September. And where is it going to be at? Promenade Park. Okay, Latino Fest, amigos, in Promenade Park. El tercer uh, fin de semana de septiembre. Así es que uh, permanezcan atentos para cuando le podamos dar más información. Okay. It's been great to have you in the program. Is there anything else you would like to add? You know, I, I want to thank the property owners for downtown. This year, they invested in 60 new flower pots nice. down there. Yeah. Um, so downtown is looking, mm -hmm. and our core is looking really colorful and, mm -hmm. and vibrant. And we want to thank them for making that investment because mm -hmm. we want to say welcome back. So 
um, as we start to climb out of COVID and events return, we're excited to have people back again. Yeah, great. Well, Cindy quiere darle las gracias a los propietarios de downtown porque ellos han contribuido para tener unas nuevas um, plantas que van a estar embelleciendo el downtown. Así es que cuando vayan caminando por downtown, uh, esperamos que los puedan disfrutar. Thank you so much. It's been a pleasure to have you in the program. We look forward to hearing more about Latino Fest. And we'll, we'll keep you informed, and thank yeah. you for having me every yeah. year. I enjoy doing this. Yeah, it's been great, and the Solheim Cup and mm -hmm. Jeep Fest, all those events are so fun. It's so exciting to be part of them and be right here in Toledo and, and share what we have in Toledo with so many other people. We have a great community. Yes, okay. thank you so much. You're welcome. Yeah. Gracias amigos, este ha sido el segmento Entérate, patrocinado por Milva Valenzuela Wagner y MVW Dynamic Advancements. Y no se vayan porque tenemos más en Voces Latinas TV Show.